Yo, what's going on with you, YouTube? Jumpman Chris here. We're coming back at y'all with another vid today, man. And we just got back from Alabama at the Soul Train Sneaker event. Uh, it was a good time, man. Did a little bit of cash out, so make sure you guys stay tuned. I will have a cool cash out vlog of that whole event. It was a good time, man. Um, uh, but anyways, uh, this weekend, coming up on the 21st, I will be in Dallas. That's right, for the Sneaker Travelers event, man. I haven't been back to Dallas in a while, and the last time we were in Sneaker Travelers, it was like back in March or something like that, man. But anyways, it was always, it's always a good time to go back in Dallas, man, so I'm pretty excited. So, hope to see you guys there. I will actually have a table and everything, too, as well. So, make sure you guys pull up in Dallas, of course, on this weekend on the 21st, Sunday. But anyways, got to talk about some things. Uh, did a little bit of um, some unboxings, and I kind of... Took a L on Sneakers Day, so if you guys didn't see my sneaker haul video, make sure you guys check that out as well. But before we open this one up, I do want to, but before I open that up, I do want to open this one up real quick, uh, just because I want to give a shout out to my guy. As you guys can see, I bought two pairs from my guy here. This came from my guy, Insanity703, but make sure you guys check out his sneaker page on his IG. It's Soul Kicks 703 appreciate you, bro. Um, thank you for copping two pairs, more power, and God bless. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, brother. Anyways, uh, we did end up getting two pairs of the militaries because in St. Louis, Mr. Big Door Kicks cashed me out and copped all my freaking militaries, and they went up. And I was like, bro, I need to get some more. So, uh, I got some good prices, was able to grab two pairs because I, like I said, I will be in Dallas, guys, and for the sneaker event. And the military, man, these things has went up. It's kind of crazy, you know? I did expect these things to go up. I didn't think these things were going to go up, like, I guess kind of soon in a way. But I expect, I thought they were going to dip a little bit more and then it'll go up. But basically, they kind of just stayed where they're at. They were, they were around, like, I think the lowest was, like, I saw it was, like, maybe 280. I think they were mainly touching around, like, 300, though. So it was basically... 300 throughout and now they're like went up a little bit so man they're kind of crazy man but uh yeah definitely had to get some more militaries because sold out had to get some more my voice sounds kind of scratchy because i literally just got back and you know trying to make this content for you guys because i just got this here today showed up uh i was trying to make a video about it last week but didn't come in time it's all good though but anyways man shout out to my guy queen plug we actually made a deal on these things, and he we did GUA and everything, and both deals did GUA, so appreciate you guys. Uh, if you guys don't know what GUA means, it means gift upon arrival. So basically it means like uh, they ship to me first, and then once I check it and all that, then I send the money. Uh, obviously, don't do that just with anyone. Make sure you guys do that with a reliable person like me, because, you know, I can't be doing no scamming, especially when I have to keep a reputation and all that. But anyways, appreciate you, my guy. Uh, we're gonna open this up real quick. That which is kind of crazy. Then we'll get this pair. And this comes now in a regular 350 box. No more that open box, the OG box. I will go down so I can get it to show you guys what an OG box looks like. I think some people might forget about it, but it's all good. But this is one shoe. Man, I'm gonna have to apologize on this one, man, because like the price on these things hasn't really went down. If anything, they kind of went up and I did not expect the expect, expect that from these, man. I did not expect that. I thought these things were gonna go down pretty good. Uh, some sizes did though, so maybe I'm kind of half right. But hey, I'll say that I I'm wrong. Okay. Sometimes you know, hey guys, look, I tell you guys sometimes I'm wrong, sometimes I'm right, and I do tell you guys that I'm not always right. I'm not a sneaker guru. I can't tell the future. I just tell you guys from my past experience, and I just tell you guys what I would do personally, me. Um, but this is the one I probably have to say I got wrong. And I can admit that. I got wrong. I was wrong about these, man. So I apologize. Here it is. The Turtle Doves right here. Um, V1s. This is a smaller size now. This is a smaller size. So this is maybe my wife could fit this. But this is a smaller size. Um, man, I might have to do a full detail review. It looks pretty close to like what the original one looks like. It's like how... The sole here, it does look like it's painted, I want to say, because if it if it is, then the the, the soles, the, the paint will chip, and make sure you guys get on that drip grip, for real, because you gotta, definitely got to protect the sole here. 
Get on that drip grip. Use my discount code JAMJUMPERMAN10, okay? Definitely. It is the best soap protector on the market today. No slippage, no tears, and you're gonna need it for these, 100%. I'm not even just trying to sell, really recommend it. But anyways, let's talk about some, about the market on these things and how they're going for it. It's, uh, whew. Now, in a way, I guess I was kind of half right. I, I'll just say it. Now, you know what? I'm just gonna say I was wrong. I was gonna say I was wrong because, first of all, small sizes definitely went down. Small sizes went down to like 300. I'm seeing even some small sizes even under 300, which I predicted on the shoe. I thought the shoe would at least been about a 350 to 400 dollar shoe, maybe even low 400. But if you look at the men's sizes, which is like from a size like eight all the way to about a size 13, they are sticking around hot like. Size eight is low 400s, and then bigger size, like a size nine and up, they're high 400s, some of them even touching 500, which is really surprising to me. I, I, that, they kind of went up in a way. Uh, I, know, I think like when they released like on the Confirm app, I think prices I was seeing around like 500, maybe, I think some size was even touching 600. I didn't think they're gonna keep up. I literally thought these things were gonna go crashing down. But maybe there's just so much demand on these things. I don't know. I mean, I literally thought because it felt like a lot of people did hit on these things. Like a decent amount, I want to say. Not like a whole bunch. Like it wasn't like a super GR or anything like that. But you guys know how usually what Yeezys are. They don't really do that much. Like they don't really go anything crazy. Especially with all the original OG colorways. Uh, especially V2s. Zebras are basically kind of went real low. Uh, wave... Uh, wave runners they went really low same with the red stripes they're like less than 300 now so I kind of thought with the trend with these even though it is a v1 we haven't got these things in a long time I just didn't think Yeezys were like that and now and that we're supposed to be in this like recession where like you know some prices don't really you know prices don't hold up but you know maybe the height one does but yeah I just want to make guys I apologize I definitely was wrong on this one uh, we'll have to wait and see how really the market's gonna be in the next few weeks, you know, once it really settles out. But I think it's probably gonna stay where they're at about right now. They're, if anything, they might touch 450 on, you know, bigger sizes, men's sizes. And the smaller sizes, they have a little bit more room to kind of go up just because they're touching like low 300s or even high 200s. So you might see a little bit more increase on those because the price is a little bit lower. Um, bigger sizes. Man, I don't know. Can this be a thousand dollar shoe? You know, like, can this be a thousand dollar shoe again? You know, the original release back in 2015, yes, they were even touching 2000. But yeah, remember, that was right when Yeezy's peak was at its highest. Now, Yeezy's are not really as hyped up anymore. Maybe foams and slides, but you know, other Yeezy's, they don't really do anything crazy. A lot of Yeezy's do brick out, and I thought that they were gonna do these things, but. I was wrong. I was definitely wrong about it, man. I just kind of thought with this sneaker recession, I didn't think people was gonna spend $500 on some older uh, V1 Air, uh, Yeezys. Even though it is the first colorway, and in my opinion, this is the best Yeezy, uh, Adidas Yeezy of all time. It's my favorite. But I didn't think that $500, they would have stayed at 500. I just never would have thought that, but hey. Uh, you never know. We have to see. I think Europe priority got their pairs. Most majority of people in US got their pairs now. Uh, if they do another restock, it could probably go down, definitely. You know, that's one thing I'll say, one one thing about Yeezys, man. I definitely wouldn't hold on any Yeezys, just because you never know. I always tell you guys, no Yeezys are safe, okay? Next year, maybe even Christmas time, they could super duper GR these things because they know there's a lot of demand on these. And it will definitely take down, tank the market because at the end of the day, they really don't care. They care about sales. And they do that with all the other Yeezys that came out. Zebras, uh, foam, run, uh, foam runners, you know, or wave runners, you know, anything that's been restocking a whole bunch of time on Yeezys, they don't care. That's why I always say, no Yeezys are safe. But hey man, do what you want to do with this information, guys. Like I said, man, I always tell you guys, I'm not a sneaker guru. I can't tell the future. I just tell you guys from my experience and what I would do and what I think would happen. I, at the end of the day, this is all just my opinion. Sometimes I'm wrong, sometimes I'm right. So I apologize if I, you know, was wrong about it, but hey, we're only human, guys, okay? Anyway, guys, I appreciate y'all. I will see you guys this weekend in Dallas uh, at the Sneaker at the Sneaker Travelers event. Should be a good time. Make sure you guys come through. Dallas is always showing love, man. Anyway, guys, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Please hit that thumbs up. 
subscribe if it's your first time here comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications when i do drop vids and don't forget to follow me on my social media at german chris on ig sometimes on twitter and don't forget snapchat anyway guys appreciate y'all love y'all i'm german chris Push.